one thing seems sure that uh, with your conception of assembly theory, as it uh, as it applies broadly, not just to life, but to mind, that uh, free will is not an illusion. No, right? not at all. It's a real physical property. And this gets into the interplay of the non-determinism, determinism, right? Like free will requires both. And so I think like people are either the universe is deterministic or it's random. And you need something in between in order to allow something to have the freedom to make choices, but also the will and the causal causation to actually enact them. And I think assembly theory also, you know, plays into some nice features of free will, which is free will is also often something that you can't do instantaneously because you can't, you know, you can't violate the laws of physics. So I always like to give the example, like, you know, I couldn't be in New York this instant having this conversation with you. I'd have to plan ahead and get on a plane. So it's within my causal horizon of things I could do in the future. I have free will to plan that, but I couldn't make it happen instantaneously.